The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. If you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe with your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. It is by believing with the heart that you are justified, and by making the declaration with your lips that you are saved. When scripture says, no one who relies on this will be brought to disgrace, it makes no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is the Lord of all, and his generosity is offered to all who appeal to him. For all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then are they to call on him if they have not come to believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they've never heard of him? And how will they ever hear of him unless there's a preacher for them? And how will there be preachers if they are not sent? And scripture says, how beautiful are the feet of the messenger of good news. But in fact, they have not all responded to the good news. As Isaiah says, Lord, who has given credence to what they have heard from us? But it is in that way that faith comes from hearing. And that means hearing the word of Christ. Well, then I say, is it possible that they have not heard? Indeed they have. In the entire earth, their voice stands out. Their message reaches the whole world. And our response from Psalm 19, day discourses of it to day, night to night, hands on the knowledge. No utterance at all, no speech, not a sound to be heard. But from the entire earth, the design stands out. This message reaches the whole world. High above, he pitched a tent for the sun who comes forth from his pavilion like a bridegroom, the lights like a champion in the course to be run. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew. And as Jesus was walking by the Lake of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother, Andrew. They were making a cast into the lake with their net, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of people. And at once they left their nets, and they followed him. Now going on from there, he saw another pair of brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in their boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them, and at once, leaving the boat and their father, they followed him. The Gospel of the Lord.